Yeah, Paho, we eat. Very good indeed. Parlayed five hundred dollars. Four times, hit four blackjacks. Well, it's just about time for an early breakfast. Go down to Mother Sweets and have some good coffee. Help the blind. Help the blind. Hello, Yancey. Blind Bill, you old faker. I haven't seen you in a dog's age. Say, this must be the Indian I've been hearing about. First time I've seen him. Paho Katiwa, Blind Bill. Nice to meet you. Where are you headed? I'm heading for the French market to steal some breakfast. We're going down there a little bit later. We'll see you. Right, Yancey. Help the blind. Help the blind. One of the greatest larceny artists in town. Help the blind. Vegetables, onions. Fresh vegetables, onions. How about a nice wash them, fellow? Thank you, Sam. Good morning, Miss Carey. Good morning, Good morning ladies. I hope you all consider the plan I outlined. This market has been in business before you were alive and with no need of protection. Our answer is no. <laughs> Boys, it's all yours. He's badly hurt. They stabbed him. Blind Bill, get a doctor. Bring him to Madame Francine's and hurry. Place, Francie. Blind Bill's gone for the doctor. It's all right, Yancey. What happened? I don't know myself yet. Who are you? Is he going to be all right? I said, who are you? Celeste Smith. Is Sam going to be all right? Smith. It was touch and go. There's nothing we can do. Hello, doctor. Right over there. Are you with the police? Oh, he spends a lot of time with the police, but not through choice. Oh, he's not a criminal. He just has a very bad habit of not minding his own business, and it gets him into trouble. My name is Yancey Derringer, and this is Madame Francine. Despite the character reference, I would like to ask you a few questions. The police will. No. Oh, I can't see the police. You may not have any choice, Miss Smith. Call him Sam. Who was he? I can't tell you. Did you know him, Bill? Oh, yes, yes. He came to the market every morning with her. Used to carry her flowers in for her. She sells camellias. Beautiful pink camellias. I saw her arrive a couple of times in the carriage. She left it there at Decatur Street and walked to the market. I thought you were blind. Blind, Bill? He can see better than most Pinkerton agents. Why, thank you, Yancey. Thank you, Doctor. Bill, you were there early this morning, weren't you? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, you see, this fella came down and looked over the market last week. He wants 50% of everybody's take. If we pay, he guarantees nobody's going to steal anything from us. That's very funny right there. Well, so we turned him down. And this morning, just as he promised, he took us apart. Well, there was mayhem. Now it's murder. Now it's a case for the police. Police? I better get out of here. But somebody's got to testify. Let her. Who is she? They call her Miss Celeste, that's all I know. Say, maybe Carrie Mead knows something about her. Which one is she? She's the old battle axe. Yancey, I'd like to help you out, but being largely illegal myself, I don't have a very good social relationship with the police, so if you don't mind. 
Thanks for your help, Bill. You lost him. Well, Miss Smith, you're going to have to tell the truth sooner or later, so it might as well be now. It was very dark. I saw nothing. I've got to go. Where is your home? I can't tell you. I've got to go. It's dawn. Francie, she'll stay here with you. I'll send for the police. She'll stay. Upstairs. We'll wait there. Mr. Administrator? Captain Fry and two Secret Servicemen went over to Madame Francine's. They found the servant's body as you said they would, but no witness. Your Celeste Smith got away. Well, Francie wasn't hurt. No, she's all right. Just angry. But there's something you neglected to tell me. Such as? You killed a thug in the marketplace this morning? And just what would you have done? He's shooting at me and the other people. I don't doubt that. Witnesses? I can find you 20 of them. Well, you'll have to produce at least one of them. Because I already said you had one. Otherwise, you'd be under arrest. That's all I can do for you. I can't tell the police you work secretly for me. So you're on your own, Mr. Derringer. Thank you. And now what about the murder in the market? Yancey, this isn't stealing from the rich and the strong. It's stealing from the poor, the needy, the weak. It's a new kind of crime and a new kind of criminal, and I won't tolerate it in New Orleans. Unfortunately, at this time, there's no evidence. One man stabbed to death, the little merchant's terrorized. What kind of evidence do you need? Someone has to step forward with two simple words. I accuse. All right, I'll find you someone. My way. The law doesn't tie your hands as it does mine. And it doesn't help the little people who were beat up today on the market, either. Good day, Mr. Cole. Mr. Derringer, stay angry. Hey, shot, Chris. Let me toss. You know, I, I can't understand Sam not being there this morning. Don't worry about him, Grandfather. I'm sure he's all right. What are you staring at? Young man. Come here, please. Yes, sir. Is your name Derringer? That's correct, sir. I thought so. I'm Colonel Duval. Yes, of course. It's been so many years, sir. You are the image of your father, boy, and it's very good to see you. Sit down. Thank you. Mm, this does bring back memories. I can see you and your father riding over the hill like fire and brimstone to spend an hour at the plantation. Of course, you were much younger then, of course. Oh, forgive me, you met my granddaughter, Celeste. Well, I have a feeling we've met, although when and where I can't remember. Mr. Vaughn? Mr. Derringer? Well, I'm drinking Chartreuse, Yancy. Would you join me? Be my pleasure, sir. Uh, Gaza. One more. Yes, yellow, not green. You know, they say that all Chartreuse would be yellow if it could be. And all camellias pink. Hmm. Celeste would agree on that. You must discuss it with her. I'd be very happy to. Uh, she grows them, you know. Oh, really? Oh, yes, in, in great profusion. And like you, Yancey, she prefers the pink to the white. <laughs> Don't you, my dear? Yes, Grandfather. Your garden would be very beautiful. With your permission, sir, I'd love to call sometime. Oh, you. any time, boy. We're, we're still at Round Hill. Do I have your permission? You have grandfather's. Good day. Bye, Yancey. Help 
Out the blind. Saints keep you, madam. Out the blind. Out the blind. Out the blind. Nancy. I just saw the fellow who stabbed Sam. He went at eight thirteen and a half. Thank you, Bill. Watch yourself. Help the blind. Come in. hurt you badly, Mr. Derringer? Not badly. Nature blessed me with a thick skull. Otherwise, I, I've never walked into a trap like this. You couldn't know. Don't blame yourself. I'll get you a glass of sherry. Rub your wrists. You've been tied up for over an hour. Thank you, Miss Carey. You're most kind. How did you know my name? Blind Bill. We'll talk. They left your pistol here. I wonder why they didn't kill me. I really don't know. Perhaps because I was here, perhaps because it was daylight, and it would be difficult to dump you in the Mississippi. But I know this. They'll kill you on sight if you interfere again. Miss Carey, when I knocked on your door, I heard a woman's voice. Was that you? Were they forcing you? Well, no, I wasn't here then. When I came home... Please sit down. Thank you. You were all tied up, and they were waiting here. Mr. Jordan and his friends. The woman's voice that I heard, it sounded to me... Well, it sounded to me like Mr. Val. Oh, it couldn't be. Not a sweet girl like that. Well, she couldn't be behind this terrible thing. In the South since the war, families that were rich, well... Well, now they're poor. Like myself? Your home doesn't seem impoverished. All this is from the plantation. When the Major died, we lost the place. Where was it? Gainesville. Oh, it was a beautiful spot. Green Mount. I kept these things. Your husband was Major Zachary Meade? You knew him? No, of him. But still, Mr. Derringer, we're proud people, all of us. We toil in secret. We don't wish others to know how we make ends meet. But it's no secret that man survives by the sweat of his brow. Some of us are new to it. Like myself, like Miss Celeste. Don't you realize that secrecy is the weapon that the blackmailers will make the most use of? And no matter what Jordan and his men do, there'll be no witnesses. You yourself can't go to the police would make your plight public. True. And for the rest, a, well, a threat of death will do. It will. So you'll have to pay. Half of what we earn. A body doesn't have to die at the market. They could murder me anywhere. That's true. No, Mr. Derringer. I'm going to pay and live. Thank you for the sherry. I'll see you again. Mr. Derringer, please don't interfere. Mr. Jordan has many helpers. It's, it's an organized ring. It might be a newspaper boy who shot you or a barber who cut your throat. It's not worth it. It is worth it, Miss Carey. Good day. <laughs> Carrie, you should have been an actress. You almost brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> oh, excuse me. 
I wasn't good enough. He won't quit. He's a dangerous man. Why didn't we take care of him here? Because I don't believe in deliberate murder. But I've changed my mind. Kill him. A pleasure. The blind man, too. Oh? He sees too much. That's how Derringer followed you here, you fool. Help the blind. Yancey. You were in there a long time. I was beginning to worry about you. Yeah, it's too long. Who went in after me? Not a soul. Sure? Positive. Sure Miss Carey didn't arrive while I was inside? I know what I saw. I tell you nobody. You better get off the street. You'll never be in trouble. Me? Why? Sooner or later, Jordan's got to figure out how I knew he was in there. You may be right. He checked me pretty close. Help the blind. Help the blind. Emerald, get it, will you? And tell the eager loser we don't turn a wheel till 5 p.m. Hello, Emma. The valves get home all right? Good. Hello, Yancey. Francie. Good night last night? Till you arrive. Oh, well, I'd like some information. You might apologize for turning this place into a mortuary. I was up till 8 o'clock this morning with the police. Sorry. What do you want to know? You remember uh, Major Zachary Mead? Of course, from Gainesville. He was a member of this club. He was killed at Cole Harbor during the war. Well, Francie, isn't he the one that was always bragging about being a bachelor? Like yourself. He's the most confirmed bachelor in the world. He used to say it was hard enough to live with himself without adding a nagging hag. That's what I thought. Wait a minute. What's going on? Well, I just left the Major's widow. Widow? <laughs> She's kidding. Yes, she is. Help the blind. I didn't expect you to accept my grandfather's invitation so quickly. I came here to tell him about Sam. Well, you mustn't. Mr. Val, during the war, there was a man in my company who spoke only of the past, never the future, of things that were gone, would never come back. Why are you telling me this? Because some people choose to live in a past that doesn't exist. Yes, my grandfather lives in the past. I'm not just his granddaughter. I'm a lady. He protects me. I don't protect him. The truth might open your eyes. The truth that we're desperately poor. He thinks we live on the sugar crop he's planted. Twice a year we go to dinner and the opera, just to prove that nothing's changed, that the old New Orleans still flourishes. The truth would break his heart. You have beautiful eyes, Celeste. It's hardly the time to say so. Well, since we're speaking the truth, can you think of a better time? Yancey, welcome to Round Hill. Thank you, Colonel. Seeing you twice in one day after all these years is mighty pleasant. I'm afraid I'm bringing you some bad news, sir. Bad news? Yes, sir. Your servant Sam is dead. He was beaten and stabbed to death this morning at the French market. Sam? Dead? Oh, no. I knew something was wrong. Poor Sam. Poor Sam. You have something more to tell me? Yes, sir. A lot more. And I'll need your help. Well, sit down, Yancey. Come in. Mr. Administrator, Mr. Duval, Colonel Duval, John Colton. Mr. Duval, Colonel Duval. My pleasure, sir. Won't you be seated? No, there's no time to waste. These criminals terrorizing the French market must be stopped. I know, sir. We're doing our now, best. Now, I'm not complaining, sir. I'm just helping. You need a witness. You have one now. You, Colonel? My granddaughter, sir. I can. I will identify Francis Jordan as the man who threatened us as the man who destroyed our produce. 
And as the man who killed Sam. I told you I'd bring you a witness, Mr. Cole. You're very brave, Miss Duvel. This office appreciates your courage and that of your grandfather. But your testimony may not be necessary. Well, what do you mean by that? I've already issued a warrant for Francis Jordan. He stabbed a beggar named Blind Bill. But I told Bill to take cover. Fortunately, Blind Bill survived long enough to identify Mr. Jordan. Did you find Mr. Jordan? No. My agents are searching for him now. Well, pull him off. Don't let him touch him. He's only a hired hand. Let him go ahead with their plan. And Celeste, I'd like for you to be at the market again in the morning. Dawn, as usual. All right, Yancy. Thank you. Yancy. Francis Jordan is a dangerous man. That makes two of us, Mr. Cope. Everybody. There's nothing else we can do. If we don't pay them, they'll destroy us. Even if soldiers were guarding us, the ring would get to us, away from here, to beat us and threaten us and ruin us. Sam was the first. They killed him, then Blind Bill. So I'm going to pay. They came to me and asked me to collect. We put half of what we make in this bag. Pass it among you. It's hard, but we have no choice. We do have a choice. The answer is no. Don't say it. We've got to give them money now. They may be watching us. Let them watch. The answer is still no, not a cent. They want it the hard way, boys. Let's go. somewhere, young lady? Oh, please help me, sir. Get me away from this terrible place. With pleasure, madam. I'm sure you'll find the caliph was very peaceful and quiet after all this excitement. You're under arrest, Miss Carey. You all right? Yes. You know I was right about you. I didn't do anything. It was you who showed us how false pride can be. Pride? I was talking about your eyes. I said they were beautiful. They are. You choose the oddest moments to say the nicest things. Shall we talk about it over a cup of coffee? Oh, I can't. I have to sell my camellias. I work for a living in the French market, remember? When am I going to see you again? Here, at dawn, any morning. Dawn? I was talking about dinner tonight. Sazerac? Mm, I can't. I have to get up early. You know, you're making it rather difficult. And I thought I was making it so easy. <laughs> 